we had, I think it was six different groups. And each one had to create a float. Nobody had to know what each other was doing. Some of them were hidden up in farm buildings. Some were in some people's gardens. You know, they're hidden all over the place, decorating these floats. Everybody came together at a certain point. And it was fantastic. We had the traffic stopped all the way through because we came from Hipsburn down to Lesbury, through the village and up at the Long Horton Road. We had flags all the way up. Decorations were all over the place, so it was good. The other one was the Crazy Sundays. A group of late women in the village got together and um, organised events to create a fund to give the pensioners of the village a, a Christmas dinner. That went on for nearly 20 years. That was in the cricket field. And um, we had all kinds of sports. We had races where, backwards and forwards, we had men dressed up as women, you know, competition-wise, you know, Malcolm Douglas won. <laughs> <laughs> now, come back to changing times, all the pensioners have got plenty of money, <laughs> when they didn't have them. And the people that ran them, well, they just died off and you didn't have the follow-up. You always had your vegetable shows as well. And just at um, Hipsburn Farm, they used to have a marquee up in the, as you go along the Walworth Road, just past the main farmhouse, the field on that side. Always had a big marquee in there. They had a flower show every year. Gardeners, everybody had a garden. Yeah, you grow all your own stuff, you ate your own stuff. There's old Fred Williams. He was a Scotsman. And every time we had a, an event, he'd had his whiskey and he had his kilt and his tamashanta. <laughs> He was, a, he was a star. It's been a good place to live. Mm -hmm. It still is.